Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Horizon Zero Dawn. Just as a quick recap for those of you who either didn't watch the first episode or just need a quick reminder, we are playing as Aloy, a huntress and an outcast who was raised by a man named Rost, who we are actually looking for. And it is two days before the Proving, which is actually kind of a rite of passage in the Nora tribe that would allow certain individuals to become braves, but also if you win the Proving, you are granted a boon, and that boon can be anything you want. And for our dear sweet Aloy, she wants answers. So that is exactly what we're going to set out to do. However, I am now level 3, apparently from completing the tutorial, so we can now take a look at skills. So let's see here. Skills. We have three points. Alright, so this very first one is Silent Strike. Press R1 to perform a silent takedown on small machines and humans or deal high damage to medium enemies. That sounds pretty useful and I do want to play this kind of stealth-like, so that might be a good one. Hunter Reflexes. Time slows while aiming during a jump or a slide, which is really cool. Oh, that sounds like fun. Silent Drop. Landing from a fall or jump is completely silent and will not alert otherwise unaware enemies. That could go very well with the Silent Strike. Brave. Concentration. While aiming, toggle with R3 to slow down time. Press R1 for a high damage attack on downed enemies. For Okay, so if they're already down, I can do R1 for a critical hit. Precision. Oh, by the way, the shield with a crack through it is actually the ability of that weapon to actually remove armor and I guess strip resources off of them. So that's something that can be good to know. Uh, precision. Light spear attacks have an increased chance to knock off armor and components. Forager. Lure call. Use the exclamation point from the tools menu to lure a single enemy to your position. The target will be the closest, most centered in Aloy's view. Speeds up healing from the medicine pouch. Eh, as long as I'm safe, I shouldn't really need that too much. Gather additional natural resources when foraging. Tell you what, I am definitely going to do Silent Strike. Gotta hold that in, I like the sound of that. Oh, what is the next one, by the way? Strike from above, press R1 to silently drop and take down small machines and humans or deal high damage to medium enemies. I do like the sound of that, but I also like silent drop and maybe critical hit. I'm gonna focus on, yeah, we're gonna focus on damage right now. There we go, excellent. Anything I can do in crafting at the moment? No, not yet. Okay. Anyway, we have now leveled up. Let's go see if we can find out what happened to Rost only two days before the proving. Your spear can knock off machine armor using R1. Try it on the training dummies. Ooh. I am happy to do that. Oh, look at that. So this is just our standard melee. You can also knock over small machines using R2. Check the item description on your spear for more information. Are these considered small? Oh, it is, and look at the destruction there. All right, let's grab some Ridgewood so we can craft more ammo if we need to. And okay, so we can light a fire here. Ah, okay. Quick save or manual save. So this is actually the game's way of saving is at fires. Now this fire is kind of just smoldering. There's not really any flames. Maybe when you actually save, it stokes it up. All right, medicinal salve brush, good to have. And I have some rocks on me. In fact, let's try a quick save. Aha, yes, exactly. So we light the fire, and that is a quick save. Perfect. Ridgewood. I don't know how much of everything I can actually hold. Oh, by the way, I also, off stream or off recording, I did toggle sprint or choose it, uh, switch it to toggle instead of holding it down which I think is going to save that button immensely. Also, I learned on a tooltip on a loading screen that you can slide just like that. That is quite the slide. Very, very impressive slide. All right, can I break barrels? No. So if I want to aim my bow, I just use left trigger and then R1 will be my spear strike. He said we'd go hunting this morning. Why isn't he here? Where's he gone to? probably off to get you a cake because he knows just how well you're going to do in the proving. That's what I would be doing if I was in Rost's position. Oh, I am still just kind of in awe at how good this game looks. 
I really wish I had a 4K television to really take advantage of it. All right, we got a fire kiln root. Not really sure what that is. What's he doing up there? I don't know. That's a good question, but I uh, see what He's looks to be a zip line. Standing there. What's going on with him? Standard climbing mechanics. Very okay with that. Aloy, you're here. Is everything okay? Good thing I know how to track. Why the holdup? When you said we were going to go hunting, I didn't realize you meant I'd have to track you down. We must speak. I've been thinking about your training, Aloy. You've learned to hunt, learned to survive. But I fear there's a lesson I failed to teach you. Would you learn it now? Of course. I'll always learn what you have to teach. There has been some trouble recently. It affords an opportunity to learn this lesson, but it will be dangerous. You must come prepared, or you will die. Descend into the embrace and hunt until you have gathered the parts for fire arrows. Fire arrows? What kind of trouble are we talking about? Once you have the parts, you will meet me there, at the gate beyond the village of Mother's Heart. Uh, the North Gate? At the edge of the Embrace? Yes. Now be on your way. Is something else bothering you? No. I'm fine. Are you worrying about what happens... after the Proving? What happens is clear. You will be accepted as one of the tribe, and I will still be an outcast, to be shunned. Rost, even if the tribe accepts me, I won't- There is much to do, Aloy. We will discuss this later. <sighs> okay. Anything else you want me to do while I'm down in the Embrace? Oh... Uh, Odd Grata might be out of food by now. You could hunt a week's worth of meat for her, if you find the time. Wouldn't mind if she'd say thanks just once. Grata follows the law. Her science towards us is honorable, not an insult. If you say so. I'll go gather the parts, but I'm also going to pay Karst a visit. Aloy, that man breaks the law every time he speaks to you. And I'm glad he does. I want to buy a trip caster, and no other trader will sell to outcasts. Stock it with ammunition, then. You'll find use for that weapon tonight. That sounds ominous. All right. See you at the North Gate. All right. So there we go. I guess kind of an introduction to the side quest or the errand system. It'll just kind of appear in the options as we talk to different people. Look at just that huge expanse. I guess down there is the embrace. We're going to have to zip line down into it. So we have to be on the lookout for some meat. So we can help feed Odd Grata. If you think something is abandoned him, he's wrong. So we have a map. Oh, and it's actually sort of three-dimensional, kind of a topographic map. Pretty cool. So it shows me campfires, cho uh, shows me my objectives, hunt for blaze and shards. Ah, okay, so there's the striders. Then this is where I'm going to be meeting him afterwards. Oh, no, that's Karst, where we're going to buy a trip caster. And then maybe anywhere in here is possibly where we find the meat. So we also... Oh, no, I guess the Strider. No, Striders wouldn't give meat because they're, they're robots. They're robots. All right, let's gather everything we can. So we're looking for parts. Oh, it's, it's raining. Oh, please tell me the weather system is dynamic. Please tell me the weather system is dynamic. Okay, so here we go. I, I'm just ignoring everything on my screen. Craft fire arrows. Gather three blaze from striders. So that's the canister that's on top. And we also need metal shards from any machines. Well, all right. I think we can handle that. It just got dark extremely quickly. But look at the light effects at night. Oh, it's beautiful. So here's another campfire where we can save. Might as well. Discover a campfire by getting near it, which unlocks a new fast travel location. Okay. 
So there actually is a fast travel system. Two days. Two days until I get answers. So, Two you know, she's talking about... Who she was and why I was cast out at birth. She wants to know answers about right. why she's an outcast Time and who her mother was. That's... Oh, oh. I should find a herd. Can I... Sorry, Fox. But, you know, maybe Aloy would actually be better off... Ooh, we got some shock wax root. But instead of actually getting answers, we could ask them to allow Rost into the tribe as well. All right, we got some rich meat and bony meat. So that's good. You know, I guess maybe I should take a look at my quest and see what that errand is. What do we need? Oh, we need to actually talk to Grata. The old outcast on Grata often needs help surviving. Ah, okay, well, where is that on the map? Oh, not too bad. Can I actually activate that? Yeah, let's activate that, because maybe some of this meat that I just got from the fox will actually count towards it anyway. Oh, and, oh, turkey would have been great. Turkey probably would have been perfect to have. All right, let's, let's see here. I'm not seeing any machines. I'm not seeing really much of anything. Corruption glaze. There is a lot to harvest. There's a lot. I'm sure once I know what everything is and what it's all used for, I won't feel that, oh. Is that a goose? Canadian goose? Brantza canadensis, if you will? Sometimes I annoy myself with how nerdy I am. All right. Corruption glaze. Yeah, once I know what everything is and what it all crafts, I'll, I'll be a little bit more specific in what I'm collecting, I imagine. All right. Do I see any wildlife? No. The ambience is really, really nice. The bird sound just off in the distance is really, really well done. Just look at this birch tree, just absolutely torn to shreds by something trampling and probably just a large machine running past it. All right, getting pretty close to Grata. I don't see anything else here, so let's just, let's run over there and see what kind of meat old Grata needs. Apparently a member of the tribe and isn't supposed to talk to us. So I don't really know how she's going to tell me what she needs. My belly and hands are empty, that you... Hello, Grata. Oh, mother, since I was cast out, have I not been constant as the river flows? Have I not kept the vows as the stones do? Show me your grace, all oh mother, and provide for me once more. Don't worry, Grata. I'll hunt your rabbits. Oh, mother, I hear your voice on the wind. I would count your blessings on my prayer beads, but I lost them atop the eastern overlook. My old bones are too worn to return. So it's rabbits and your trinket you need this time. Okay, we'll find you at your camp. Interesting. So they aren't permitted to talk to the outcast, so instead... Okay, three out of five meat, so it doesn't matter what kind of meat. They're not permitted to talk to outcasts, but they can talk to the All Mother and pretend that they're just talking to spirits when in reality they are essentially addressing us. All right, fair enough. Fair enough, so where gather meat is that way. Where's her trinket? Don't know where her prayer beads are, but that's all right. We can, we can get meat anywhere, so it doesn't matter what type of meat they are. Ouch. Ow. Ouch? Ouch what? What happened? Oh, we have machines. We have machines, and what are they doing? Are those striders? They didn't appear to be watchers. That's a watcher right there. Oh, okay. Meant to land on that post. But let's see. Ooh, what is this? Medicine pouch is full. That's fine. Here's a machine here. Can I just salvage from something that's already downed? 
No, at least not in this example. But where's that watcher? I would really like to take the watcher down. Ooh. What do we have? Th okay, this is a hostile machine. It's a scrapper. Where can I hide? Where can I hide? Right in here. All right, perfect. What do we have? Weakness, lightning, and... Oh, jeez. Oh, my. Oh, goodness gracious. Are you searching for me? Because this could prove deadly. Um... No, 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 wrong button. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 please. Can you guys cross water? Of course you can cross water. Well, oh, that's a lot of damage. Go, sprint. Go, Aloy. We need to find it. Oh, I don't know how to escape. I don't know how to break this. So we're just going to have to try and get some distance if we can. Alright, maybe that was enough. That did no damage. That did hardly any damage, and you are scrambling up. Oh! Projectiles, okay. This went south. This went south. Tell you what. Let's get their attention that way. I am not prepared for scrappers, apparently. And let's just go. Let's just go. All right, I think I'm far enough away. Wow! Okay, first uh, wild hunt, scrapper. Dangerous as I'll get out. Nothing like the striders I'm used to fighting, but uh, I don't think I was really supposed to... Oh, shoot. Someone's in trouble. I need to help. Okay. It's a watcher. Oh, I... Oh, that actually worked. And here's a critical. Excellent. Let's see what we got. Metal shards, some resources. Oh my gosh, so many resources. This will help. Wild Ember. Oh, 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 careful. I think it's... Whoa! That's not going... Alright. And I'm hurting. Oh, that did a lot of damage, surprisingly. Oh, no, please don't. Is that a scrapper? That seems like a scrapper. Okay. And he's running away. Go into crafting to modify your weapons and outfits. All right. Um, who was it that needed help? I'm not sure. Was it someone? Maybe this uh, this exclamation point on the map. Let's go take a look. All right, I need to be more careful. Please, Brom, come find me. Yeah, it's that person up there. All right, uh, I guess we need to do some scrambling. Let's uh, let's see how easy it is to to climb in this game. Not there. Well, I have proved to be not a very able-bodied huntress just yet. But that critical on that watcher worked wonders. So I'm very glad I took that point. And let's see. There we go. So I have to look for these little posts coming out of the rocks. Can't just scramble everything. I don't even know if you're the one who was just talking. No, you are. Who are you calling out for? Do you need help? I have nothing against outcasts. Far from it. 
but I shouldn't talk to you. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't see anyone else around to help. I guess you're right. I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to be callous. My brother was cast out, but his sentence has ended. He, he should have come home, but he didn't, and, and his camp was covered in blood. You, um, you said your brother's camp was soaked with blood? The Braves went looking for him, and, and that's what they found. All I can think about is what might have happened. Is he really dead? Or maybe just wounded? Is he suffering? Does he need help? I can't stand it not knowing. What are you doing out here all alone? Each day I cut a notch on the wall so I knew Brom's sentence was over. Then I cut three more. But he still hadn't come back. I begged the matriarchs to send braves to find him, and all they found was a blood-soaked camp. The braves said he must be dead. But I have to know the truth. So I came out looking for him. Why was your brother cast out? Rom was always a little different. A little touched. One of the hunters had a cruel heart and never let him alone. I was gone but an hour, and the hunter said after him like always, but this time, Brom struck back with a rock and split the man's skull. Spirits made him do it, he said. Whispers of the forgotten. It cost him ten years. I never should have left him alone. I'll do what I can to find your brother. You will? Then let me come with you. I won't be a bother. I know how to stay out of sight. I'm faster on my own. If that is how it must be, just find him then. Please. Alright. Another side quest. Or I guess this is a true side quest, not an errand. But I want to talk to Alara again because she had some more information on the Forgotten that Did she you mentioned. I'm still looking for him. So let's see if I can still I get that option. You. What do you mean, Forgotten? All mother curses blasphemers who won't repent, banishing them from her eternal memory. Those lost spirits are the forgotten. Brom used to say they spoke to him, told him to do things. It was such a burden for him, and, and there was nothing I could do to help. I'll be back as soon as I have news of Brom. Thank you. I can't stop worrying about him. So anyone not willing to repent is a forgotten, someone who's permanently cast out. All right, time to zip line again. Pardon me, Alara, I'm just gonna jump over your head here. Okay. So let's see. What do we want to track? What do we want to track? The forgotten, old grata, or odd grata rather. Let's track this because we can always Oh my. Oh wow. Uh, okay, maybe it's not that far and there is a path. Yeah, let's activate that. We can always look for meat along the way. Okay, and there is a drop mechanic. Good. That way I don't take this damage. What do we have here? Can't. Maybe I already looted? Maybe I already looted that one, but it still shows up. It's in. I should check for modifications, so let's actually take a look at that. Uh, that's not what I want, apparently. Oh no, crafting, modify. So modifications, there's an empty slot, okay. And what can I add into it? Damage, oh, did I find this? You know, I kind of clicked so quickly through and I killed that one strider, but this adds 6% damage, okay. All right. Let's uh, let's equip that modification. Why not? And can't really do anything in here yet, can I? Oh, okay, shock traps, detonating blood. There's a lot of stuff. All right, we'll take a look at that more in detail once we have reason to do so. What do we have here? Oh, oh, turkey. Wildlife kill, got you. Those are scrappers, though, so I have to be very careful with them. I would like to go get that meat if I can get close enough. And I, I could probably take one. I don't know that I want to take all of them. Alright, okay. take all. Said her prayer will be Eastern 
What do we have? Where'd that one scrapper go? Mm, no, not worth it, not worth it. Although, actually, before we go too far, Aloy just said it's not too far from here, so let's actually mark Grada's errand. Oh, it's kind of the opposite way. Go to the Overlook Climb. No, let's keep pushing forward. Let's keep pushing forward to see if we can find Brom. Because maybe that will... Maybe that'll bring us back here, or back in the direction we need to go to find the prayer beads. Very carefully around the scrappers. I don't need any more meat, but I don't know if there's anything else I need it for. Yeah, you know what? Let's top off. Might as well. Some rabbits, another turkey. Wow, such a rich landscape. Eh, I don't need any more rocks at the moment, although they are clearly going to be really useful for getting targets off my back. Oh, oh, what do we have here? Is that a watcher? That looks like a watcher. That's a watcher. Oh, oh, oh. What kind of damage can I do from this range? Red light. Not much. Red light, okay. Am I hidden? Nope, I'm not hidden. Well, then it's probably going to become time for the spear. Look at that damage when you actually get him right in the eye. No, 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 get back. Ugh. Gotta get used to the controls here. They're actually running away. Let's see if I can get that loot really quickly then. Oh, I'm swimming. Okay. Metal shards and wire. Oh, cool, you can actually stealth swim. I like that. Oh, I'm supposed to stealth swim to avoid detection, but what do we have? Oh, those watchers are actually coming, huh? Oh, wow. No, no, no. Go on. Stop and uh, try and shoot me. Oh. Want to get your eye? Not your eye. Why am I not hitting your eye? Oh, oh, run. I could get the critical. Come on. Come on, Ailey. Swim, swim, swim. All right, never mind. You're not going to get it, but just finish him. Watch your lens. Okay, so that's just a resource. Oh. Are you down? Nope, you weren't down. Am I dead? Did I die at the same time the Watcher just did? Yes. Alright. So yes, I just died. My first death. Guess I need to be a little bit more cautious around the, uh, the dinosaurs. Alright, so stealth is definitely going to be the name of the game, it appears. If you're going to fight them head on at this level, I think that might be unwise, to say the least. So those watchers, if they're still over there, they're kind of out of sight, out of mind. But let's see if I can actually get around that gate or if I have to go right through it. I was thinking maybe I could climb in that tower. I don't know if there's anything... It doesn't really look like there is a way. So let's just zip line down. Any game that has zip lines automatically gets bonus points from me. I am a zip line fan. So yeah, we can stealth swim. We do have an oxygen bar right at the bottom. Weather, okay, I was praising the weather and, and I still think it looks great. It changes a little too frequently. Just a little too frequently. Weather doesn't typically change as often as it does in this land. But who knows? Maybe there's a lore. Oh, we got to watch her. Maybe there's a lore point to it at some point. Thought I hit him. Let's make this quick. Come on. 
Oh my, how did I miss that? Dead? Ow. Alright, tell you what. Let's just go in with the spear. Seems I'm better with it anyway. Ow! Just kidding. Alright, you down? Oh boy. That, that could have gone better. I definitely need to craft larger resource bags, it seems. Because I need to be able to carry more stuff. Alright, so this is body. Brown's camp. There's gotta be more to this. Looks like a few drops of blood lead away from the camp. Alright, so I can actually take a look. Oh, but I can. Did I just see an option to tag the track? Hi That's what it looked like. Follow the blood trail. Sure enough. Ah, very cool. So this device is going to allow me to follow the blood. So he was injured, but he did manage to get away, and now we're just going to see where it leads. Probably nowhere good. Probably nowhere safe. Someone attack Brom with it? Looks like more blood leading away from here. Alright, once again, tracking the blood. Now, just because we're following blood doesn't mean we can stop paying attention to our surroundings because those machines definitely seem to be all over. So let's actually get into stealth mode a little bit. Oh. There, a bucket. Contains blood, so it was actually a bucket of blood? Press R1 when the reticule's over. Okay, I thought I just did that. Now, maybe I have to examine first. Did I'm jumping the gun. Blood to the, camp? the trail of blood ends here, but whoever left it must have also left tracks. That's interesting. I can actually see kind of figments of the individual. So someone brought a bucket of blood to Brahm's camp to make it look like he was murdered? Is that... Is that what I'm being led to believe? Alright. Doesn't seem like there's anything here, so let's just all-out sprint. Kind of leading right to where the watchers are, though, so that could be an issue. But if we're careful. Hmm. And if it's just the one. Hmm. Oh, it's not just the one. It's not just the one. There are three. Yeesh. All right. I don't know, I don't know how many patches of long grass there are. It would be nice if I could actually get a stealth takedown, which I believe was R1, whenever I'm close enough. If I actually took that lure skill, I could call one over, but I did not. So we're gonna have to take them out with the bow. So if I can get one to stop moving and face me so I can shoot him right in the eye. No, no, no. Back up, back up, back up. Perfect. Stealth kill. Are you examining your fallen, fallen brethren? Alright, two. Come on. No, no. Look right back here. No. Turn around. All right, let's just get one hit. See if we can... Oh, actually, that worked out nicely. But that somehow... Wasn't it. Wow, what... What was that supposed to be? 
Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. There we go. All right. Decent takedown of the three watchers. I'm not, not too upset about that. That went all right. Two stealth kills and then just one, one hard melee. This is definitely going to take some getting used to, but it's it's a good, fairly intuitive system. Where was that other watcher? Z. He... Hmm. Oh, unless. What does this symbol mean? Does this mean he has something good? Watcher lens, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's a more rare or a uh, a less common component. All right, let's get back into stealth mode just for the time being. I really didn't intend on going down all these rabbit holes. I, I thought we'd try and stick to the main plot with Ross today, but uh, game had other ideas. I really can't blame the game. Uh, it's taking me to this very large camp. That can't be good. This is Mother's Cradle. Alright, well, let's let's get a quick save here at this bonfire. I'm going to call them bonfires. You guys know I'm going to call them bonfires for obvious reasons. But his track is actually not going up there. It's leading away. Alright, fair enough. That's twisted. Oh, what is going on here? The blood from the camp came from this boar. We have a boar head. Bit of a shrine someone has or constructed. Why does he want people to think he's dead? And why desecrate the shrine? Follow the tracks some more. So is it possible Brom doesn't want to return to society? Oh what do I hear? Uh oh. Kill the scrappers. Oh, scrappers really aren't my forte. So let's get into some tall grass here. What was their their weakness was just kind of armor deconstruction. That was not that much damage. You're not gonna be the one to stop me. I'm out of arrows. Well, it's a good thing I can... Ooh, can I hide? Oh, shoot. He was close enough for a silent strike. Maybe this one will get closer. I don't know what that's going to do. Oh, shoot. Okay. There we go. There we go. Good finish. Good finish. And I am back to hidden. Back to hidden. Come on, get closer. Get closer for the Can silent strike right? quickly. No, all right. Tell you what, let's uh, let's just toss a rock really close. And silent strike. Excellent. Examine the destroyed watcher. Ooh, got a scrapper heart. They're not so bad. They're not so bad. They were a little scary. I need to quickly craft some arrows. So what do I need? Ridgewood and metal shards. I have tons of those. So let's go ahead and get a full complement of those. There we go. 20 more arrows. So yeah, why were the scrapper so interested in this watcher? Looks like it was a watcher. Whoever I'm following made short work of it. If it's Brom, he definitely knows how to handle a spear. Yeah, we can even get the metal scraps off that. Another watcher, it looks like, over to the left, but we're not going that way. Alright, Brom. What are you up to, my friend? I'm only assuming it's Brom, though. It very well may not be. Who do we? What do we have here? Watchers, and eh, that they're okay. They're not too close. We're actually almost leveling up too, which is pretty great. Where did you go? Oh, you climbed. 
someone loaded these supplies. Rom was an outcast for a long time. Why take food and gear now? Well, we are only assuming that it's Brom. What? Is that something there? Oh. Can I drop? How do I drop safely? Uh, not like that. Or, I didn't take damage, but that was not what I intended to do. What's this? Supplies from the cache. Why would they take fast them? travel pack? Them oh, do you need fast travel packs in order to actually fast travel? That's interesting. So it's not just unlimited. Okay, I can get on board with that. Alright, looks like we're climbing again. Hopefully we're nearing wherever this individual is hiding. I will. I'll, oh, it is I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. Hey, Brom, take it easy, pal. Oh, he's hearing voices again. I will. I'll, I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I hurt her. You, you're not a spirit. What do you want? I want you to step away from the edge, Brom. No. Leave me alone. Can't you see I need time to think? I, how, how, how am I supposed to think when everybody is shouting at me? I know this is hard, but I can help. Yeah, let's go compassionate. So many voices to listen to. It must make your head hurt. I promise my voice will be soft and soothing. A soft voice, like Alara's. It's been so long. Years. Yes. Yes, I... I will listen. That's better. Now tell me, what's troubling you? Spirits of the Forgotten. Souls cursed by the All-Mother. Their voices never let me be. They want me to do things. Hurt people. If I go back to the Nora, they might make me hurt Alara. And I... I'll kill myself before I let that happen. Do you have to listen to the spirits, Brom? They're speaking to me right now. Always with me. They take care of me. Keep me company. Help me. Except when they scream. Like when that hunter knocked me down. Crush your skull with the rock, they said. And I did. Brom. You're alive. Oh, mother be praised. I'm sorry I followed you, but I had to make sure he was all right. No, 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 no. Please, sister, I, I, I can't protect you. I need no protection from you, Ron. He fears these spirits that he hears will turn him against you. Unless your voice can quiet them? Yes, just as it was before. He only ever hurt someone once, and it was provoked. I... I don't want to hurt you, but the Forgotten, their, their whispers, they, they fill my head with screams. Brom isn't ready to return to the Nora, but I don't think he'll hurt you, Alara. There's a place where I can stay, a cave on All Mother Mountain. I suppose you could visit me there, so long as I'm strong. You will be, Brom. I'll help you. Thank you, Aloy. I'll take care of him now. May you walk in all mother's eternal memory. And may the forgotten leave you be. Completed side quest, the forgotten. We got a remarkable reward box. Some XP, which is probably going to put us over... Yep, it's going to cause us to level up and I, we need to take a look at that remarkable reward box but first let's see we took silent drop that actually cost two but you know what I think lure is going to be extremely useful so you know what? we're gonna use that we oh wait can I use it yes yes we can I think that's gonna be extremely extremely useful but what about my inventory because we got Special items, 
No. Treasure boxes. Here we go. Remarkable reward boxes. Box must be opened to reveal its contents. Well, let's view it. Lancehorn lens, metal vessel, and wires. Excellent. Very cool. Well, all right. I have already unlocked my skills. Thank you. Is there an easy way down? No? I'm just going to have to very, very carefully hop down. Is that... All right, here we go. Drop to ledge. Oh, no. All right. Didn't take too much damage there. I'm going to have to learn how to traverse a little bit more carefully. Let's see if we can't wrap up by finding the prayer beads, which are where? They were on this eastern ridge, right? Right here. It's actually going to bring us past the striders, so we'll go kill those as well. I can already see. There's a watcher. Yeah, we can go take care of these guys pretty easily, I would imagine. Especially since we know all we need to do is really target that canister. Alright, slow. So, striders should be anywhere... Oh, 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 don't get spotted, don't get spotted. While this guy's looking... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. My aim is, uh, my aim is definitely off! Good hit, and take down. Oh, and you actually, oh! Alright, I didn't realize there were so many. Low and quiet doesn't do it, Aloy. Not when they already know exactly where you are. But if I can put some distance, maybe... Again, again, again. Good, good kill. And... Knock him down. Yes. And the critical. Ooh. We're getting some, I guess, uncommon... Hearts. That's excellent. And are those striders? Oh, that was a watcher heart. Interesting. Those are those are striders. Perfect. So let's get into stealth. Oh. Oh gosh, the bucking is bad. All right. I was really hoping to avoid this kind of confrontation, but can I get that? I kind of wish I took. That skill. Get the canister. Get the canister. Get the canister. Ah. Alright. So we got the blaze still, but... Oh, and now they're spooked. Now they're spooked. That's alright. You know, I could actually go with this HUD being a little bit cleaner. You know, I actually mentioned in the first episode that I liked how clean it was, and now... It's becoming very cluttered. And only at times, it does kind of fade for the most part, but I wonder if there's, I wonder if there are some options to clean that up a bit. All right, tell you what, let's, let's see how close we can get, because I need to shoot those canisters. Do they see me, or? Oh, they seem kind of alert. Too alert, too alert. Yep, he's on to me. Alright, well, sorry, friend. Trying to do this a little bit more stealth-like, and that is not happening. We almost have enough blaze. But now, are you still over there? Yeah, you are. Is that the canister right there? Yeah, it was. Perfect. Oh. oh no. Oh. Oh, mistakes were made. Alright, come after me. Let's take you down. I got the sparker. The other one's fled. But where did that. Where did that component fall? Right here? Yeah, right here. 
And that was actually enough. So now, oh, we just need to craft some arrows. Select fire arrows and hold. Okay, so I don't even have to go into the crafting menu, which this did teach me before. But if I can manage to get more, more of the blaze, I can make more arrows, which doesn't seem like a bad idea. Component removed. Come on, just take him out. Oh boy, that was a little scary. <laughs> All right, so you don't actually have to kill the enemies in order to get the components, it seems. So that's one blaze. All right, well, we have enough blazes for now. So let's go to the Overlook Climb and see if we can't get those prayer beads. We're already pushing much longer. I was hoping to actually only do the first episode long, and then all the others would only be maybe, you know, half an hour or so. But that doesn't seem to be the case and because this game is going to be so sprawling from what it seems like maybe we are going to be looking at closer to hour long episodes hope you don't mind hope you don't mind i just i want to experience this game and i want to bring you guys along for the ride all right we actually have that's a watcher but those are ooh, that's a that is a lot of striders so if we can actually get one more blaze that would be pretty cool It removed. Excellent. I'm not. I'm not hidden though. I'm not hidden. Got to do better job at identifying the tall grass. There we go. Well, I don't know if I'm actually even going to be able to get in there safely to get that blaze. There are so many here, though. Wow. So let's take the long way around. Back to your business. Fire kiln root. I wish I knew what that did. Seems like it's something that could be useful. No long grass here for me to hide in, and we have watchers and striders. But you know what? I think. Oh, here we go. Here's some grass. I think we can actually just kind of avoid them. Although. This is too tempting. All right, that works. So maybe, maybe I can just get a couple more blazes. All right, rocks are definitely the way to go. Just stay. Oh, we got it, but it was close. Oh, shoot. Now it's time. Actually, they got spooked. Well, the Striders got spooked. This Watcher didn't, but you know what? Unfortunate for him. Oh, I love. Oh, I love the combat so far. I have two of them. But they don't know where I am. I can get out of this. Yes, I can. Especially with just some silent strikes. Ooh, can I get another one right away? Yes, I can. Oh my goodness. Silent strike, if that's not your first skill, I imagine you've done something wrong. Ooh, shock coil. Okay, so we can actually start doing some elemental damage. There's a fire coil. 
And we did see already that they're all in freeze coil. My goodness, every type of coil. But you know what we need are those blazes. That's what I'm looking for. That's really why I'm here. That's watcher. Oh, but that's that is something I want. Machine core. There's a blaze. And was that actually enough? Yes, it was. Perfect. All right. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. So. Okay. They're heading back. Not bad. All right. That felt good. That felt like we're finally learning a little bit. Oh, what is this, though? Oh, that was just fireflies. Made me a little nervous. Hmm. Tell you what. Because of the time, I think we are going to open up the next episode by finding the prayer beads because this is actually a great place for us to save. So we'll just drop a quick save here and that is going to do it. Awesome. So we have helped Alara find Brahm and Brahm is now going to go live in a cave and Alara is going to visit him sometimes and hopefully keep the forgotten voices at bay with her soothing voice. We have collected everything we need for Grata as far as the food. We need to still find her prayer beads and now we also need to go and talk to Karst and buy ourselves a tripcaster. Horizon Zero Dawn. I hope you guys are still enjoying my playthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm definitely having a blast, and hopefully you guys can watch my skills progress as the series continues. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.